What's up, YouTube? It's J Man and me, the jokester. And don't adjust your TV sets or computers. We are on opposite sides right now. Uh, have some issues with the other side of the couch. Um, so the J Man's sitting here, and you're getting a better view of our kitchen. But we're not here to talk about that today. We're here to review another fine entertainment property. Oh, we and I talk. <laughs> yes, we are recording this at nighttime. Uh, J Man, what what is the beautiful film or piece of entertainment that we're reviewing today? That the Sam Pop and all girls poor. That's right. That's a Halloween special from a few years ago. Not really a film, more of a TV show, but a, a standalone. Uh, you could consider it a short film. You could consider it a lot of things. Um, it's not a <clears throat> not especially well animated and uh, not especially well written. Remember what I told you about the secret world of pumpkins and monsters? Of course, pumpkins protect houses from monsters who try to scare people. Um, Jamin, what did you think of, uh, what, what was, what's your overall impression of the, uh, Dancing Pumpkin and the Ogre's plot? It's <clears throat> silly. It is very silly. It's very silly. Say, of, uh, pumpkins shape like squash have and the other are all like peaches. Let's, let's focus on the dancing pumpkin. And um, it's true, none of the pumpkins look very much like pumpkins. And the, uh, it, the, the plot of the, uh, the plot of the dancing pumpkin and the ogre's plot uh, concerns the pumpkins that are supposed to protect uh, are the homes of humans from ogres, and there's some kind of a uh, big bad ogre that's that's uh, ready to bear down on humanity, and it's up to the main dancing pumpkin to gather all the other dancing pumpkins up and fight the ogre. You are very brave, but I must warn you that the ogre is very dangerous. He is from an ancient and evil family of ogres. Everyone in this has crazy names. I don't think they ever reveal the name of the dancing pumpkin. He's just the dancing pumpkin or the general. And then he's got a little sidekick. I think it's called Percoles. Percoles, summon two Thunderbellies. Sir, yes sir. Is that right? And the ogre is not named Shrek. He's Fiddle Faddle, Foodle Fuddle. Bang, cry, I'm sure. Okay. Fing, fink Grinder? Yeah, I think you're right. Fink Grinder. That's right. Um, but Fink Grinder, does he, he imprisons one of the kids in, a, in one of the... There's a... I, it's a kind of pumpkin or a breed of pumpkin they call like a thunderclap or something and they trap one of the kids in there thunder bell thunder belly that's right you were paying more attention to this thing than i thought thunder bellies will carry you so we can all travel in pumpkin time go um <coughs> Side five big pumpkin, which is weird. <laughs> I can't <clears throat> gross. Uh, I there's a lot of weird, gross stuff in this. Uh, I think it's weird and gross that the pumpkins have leaves for arms and that they dance. They 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 tap danced um, for the hell of it. 
and they're secretly protecting humans. Halt! Pumpkins! Grow on leaves. The animation is not especially good, and it's not a super engaging story. But I feel like the Dancing Pumpkin and the Ogre's plot has its heart in the right place, and, uh, you know, it's hard to fault it for that. It's just. Earth's floating snake. I need to tell <coughs> that. Right, they, they try to question a lot of physics with that snake, is that when we meet the snake, it's in a bird cage that it looks like it could have easily escaped from. And yeah, and then they're falling out of the, the they're falling through the sky, and the snake is like using me as a parachute. I don't think so, buddy. We're both gonna end up dead, but it, it works in Pumpkin Land. Um, so, and Pumpkin Land, when they go to Pumpkin Land, by the way, and they meet all the pumpkins, it doesn't look that large. It looks about the size of a parking lot carnival. It's not a huge, incredible world. Um, but uh, you know what I liked at the end is when the kids are dancing. When the kids are... <laughs> and for a special called the Dancing Pumpkin, I don't think that that pumpkin dances all that much. Does he? No. <clears throat> <clears throat> well, J-Man, uh... How many stars do you award the Dancing Pumpkin and the Ogre's Plot? Infinity Stars, I knew you secretly loved it. I knew you didn't tear your eyes off that thing. Actually, now that I think about it, you were in love with the Dancing Pumpkin, weren't you? Hmm. Oh. <laughs> You're not sure? Maybe it can't be graded. I do Oh God! You can't see pumpkins. <laughs> I think the people know about pumpkin seeds. Wow, this is unprecedented, Jason. Infinity stars <laughs> for the dancing pumpkin, but you'll also think about it. Maybe you did hate it. I don't know. Hard to tell with you. All right. Well, thanks once again for having me on the video, J Man. Yeah. And I can't wait to see what the next uh, terrible thing is that we watch to review. Heaven, bad oil. Someone's calling right now with a movie with a bad movie recommendation. Hello? Troll 2, we already watched that. Ice Cream Man, we watched that too. The Dancing Pumpkin, that's the one we're reviewing right now. Huh. These people don't know anything. We do love you all. Hello, skeletons. <laughs>